Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemon Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to switch views using Xcode 4.5. Now already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Switch Views for the purpose of this tutorial. The first thing we need to do when switching views is obviously have a second view we need to switch to. So if you can control click or right click and add a new file, make sure it's an Objective C class, and I'm simply going to name it Second View. We just create that, and once it's created, we'll just drag it underneath our view controller there, so it's nicely set up in our menu. And then what we need to do now is go into our view controller.xib and add a button which we're going to press to enable us to switch to our second view. Now I'll just split the screens here and add in our button. So we do space and add the brackets. Now if control click or right click and drag the button to our action section and then create an action. I'll name the button switch view and make sure it's got touch up inside and the argument is a sender. So once we've added that, go back to our single view and just make sure in our view controller.m that it's been added in there too. Yeah. So what we need to do now is now import our second view. So underneath our import view controller header, we do import and then name of our second view, which is second view. And once we've imported it there, we can add in the code in our button to enable us to switch view. So what you need to do is type the name of our new view which is second view space asterisk and I'll name it second as it's our second view space equals space bracket two brackets sorry and then we do second view again space alloc and after the first bracket we do space init with nib name nil and in our bundle, we do nil again, and that red bracket and a semicolon. Now we do enter. Now here's a different part here to Xcode 4.5 to uh, the previous ways used to switch views in the previous versions of Xcode. <clears throat> the um, we do now, so we do bracket self space. Now before we could have used present module view controller, but now it's unable to use it now in the newer version of Xcode so what we have to do is use the present view controller and we just do present view controller and in the highlighted section we do the name of our view which we or we, the name of our what we named our view sorry so we do second animated yes and in the completion here we do null and then a bracket and a semicolon so if we quickly go into the simulator and build and run just to make sure it's all working fine. So we hit the button, it takes us to our new view. Now we want to be able to switch back from that view to our main view. And what we're gonna use is the dismiss present view controller in our second view. So if we go to our second view now, and drag in the button, and again, split the view so we can quickly add in our action. So just like before, we drag it in, create an action, and I'll name this one back, connect that, go back to our single view and in our second view here we are. We don't need to add in or import the header of our view controller at the top because all we do is just dismissing the view controller that's been created so we do self, the bracket self, sorry space dismiss and again before we would have used dismiss module view controller animated but unfortunately we can't use it no more so we must use dismiss view controller animated in the animated section in the bowl we do yes and again in the completion we just do no and have a bracket and a semicolon save so just before I build and run I'll quickly uh, explain what I've just done uh, we've imported the header here for our second view which tells our first view that you know this is about and in our button here we have our second view which enables the switch and previous versions of Xcode we would have used present module view controller but we are unable to use it now as um, Apple have some, for some reason gotten rid of it so we have to use present view controller 
no biggie. Works exactly the same as the previous version, just a little bit of different code. And once you switch to our second view, we have a button which here will dismiss the view that has been loaded, will dismiss the second view and take us back to the first view. So basically it's like, we have our first view, we press the button, our second view overlays the top on top of our first view and our button will disappear, our second view on top, so reveal our first view. So just build and run now, just to show you what we've done. So once it's loaded, we press our button, our second view appears over the top of it, and then we press our button on our second view, and it takes away our second view to reveal our first view underneath it. So that's simply how you switch views using Xcode 4.5. So I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and make sure you go check out all our apps by searching Geek Element on the App Store. But most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.